So this is Galagon for the Atari 2600. This is a game that was said to be impossible back in the day. So it was it was said that Galaga was impossible for the Atari 2600 because of limitations and it probably still was. Galaga probably still is impossible w would have been impossible back in the day. But thanks to things like the the arm chip and and t the technology's gotten better and programming has gotten better that's what made this game finally possible on the Atari 2600. John Champo also made Robot War 2684, which was Robotron 2084, which is another game that was thought to be impossible. It's thanks to the improved technology that that these homebrews have gotten better at doing things that that were otherwise impossible back in the day. Anyways, let's get started. So, I'm gonna play Galaga under the name Galagon, most likely for copyright reasons. Okay, so so this is the much more popular sequel to Galaxian. In fact, it actually overshadowed the original. This was far more popular. It, it's as big as a hit as Pac-Man. And, and, ooh. Yeah, okay, let's see if I can get... If I can get a double ship. Ah, uh, I'm not quite skilled at this version. I'm more used to the arcade version of Galaga. I just, I just lost a life there. On the first level. But, I'm, I'm gonna keep playing. And, okay, I'm gonna try to get a double ship. Cause I... I haven't practiced this version well. But, I'm gonna see how good I can do. <laughs> I'm more used to the arcade version. But, I... But, but I'm... I'm gonna keep... Playing until I... Until I... Get far. I hope I can do reasonably well here. Okay. Okay. Just gotta... Ugh. Avoid enemies. Okay, it's really easy to shoot my own ship by mistake. Gotta try to avoid that. Gotta try... Try to avoid shooting my own ship. Ugh, and I'm down to my last life on the first level. I just, I, I just haven't practiced this version well. Let's see if I could, if I could get my double ship without shooting it. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Ah, and I destroyed myself, and I'm down to my last life. Uh, well, this is disappointing. I couldn't get my double ship. I may have to try playing this game again. Uh, I really need to do a better job here. Uh, and now I can't get my double ship. I tried so hard, only to not do it. And, I'm, and if, I lo if I lose another life, the game's over. And just like that. But I'll play again. Hope to do a better job. I'll try again. That was awful. I'll try again. This is this definitely feels harder than the arcade version. Uh I I, I, I'm much better than this at Calica. I just haven't practiced this version well. I just downloaded the demo today, embarrassingly. But I'm trying to do something for this week. I wanted to get something out here. I'm back at the first level.
and I, I, I can't, I can't shoot a boss that that still has the that's just up there with my ship. Otherwise, it's gonna, the, the my 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 ship will just be by itself up there. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Now I get another chance. Let's, let's see if I can do it this time. I really hope I can. I'm doing a better job than I did earlier. I can only shoot it while it's coming down. Ah, oh, not again. But I must go on. See if I can try again this time. <laughs> it's really hard to do. I really... I really... I don't want to finish this video without me getting the double ship. Ugh. It is... I really want to avoid the enemy shots. Almost got me right there. Ooh. I have a much easier time getting the double ship in the arcade version. Believe me. I just need more practice in this version. Now I got another chance. I'm, I'm trying to memorize the the pattern better. M memorize its path as it comes down. And I did it! Yes! I got the double ship this time. And just before the challenging stage. Okay, let's see how I do here. Let's see how I do here. No, I missed a couple. I'm not gonna get perfect in the challenging stage. Well, in the arcade version, I get... I get perfect very well. Uh, I missed a couple. So I'm not gonna get perfect. I hate it when this happens. I'm hoping I can make it to the second one. And I got an extra life. At least you got to see me get a double shit this time. And I'm getting further. And I lost them both. So I had a feeling it wasn't going to last. They just can't... This, I reached the point to where they now come down at me. They come down at me during formation. Because there's too many that would fit out there. Just like in the arcade version. <laughs> there's too many enemies... Oh, there's the scorpions. And third one got me. Oh, you see me got get all three scorpions. Third one was kind of an orthodox way to do it. And, and now yeah, I could I can't get the double ship now, otherwise it's game over. And I only just dodged that shot. Ooh. And, and, and this game also has a challenge mode where you go through challenging stages. And it's and, and you and you, uh, you lose a life if you don't get perfect. And I just got game over. But I hope you enjoy seeing me play, even though I. I I'm I haven't mastered this version yet, but yeah, the challenge mode is exclusive to the the full version of the game. Okay, I'm gonna enter my initial. All right, uh, enter my initial here. Ah, yes. Let's... All right, let's get. Almost there. There we go. I earned my initial. <laughs> I'm not in first place. I was so much better at Gorf Arcade. So, anyways, as I was saying, challenge mode is all about going through every challenging stage, but you lose a life if you don't get perfect in, in the challenging stage. So if you want to keep playing, you got to try to get perfect as much as possible. I can't show you that since that's in the that's in the full version that you have to purchase. 
which is available at the Atari H store. I'm just playing the demo here. But, anyways, this was great seeing Galaga finally on the Atari 2600. I applaud John Champo for that. For doing what was said to be impossible back in the day. And I I just I just need better practice at this game is all. But anyways, I'll I'll sign off and have a good one. <laughs>